I turned subs on. Uh, I checked the settings beforehand, so let's check it out. It should be a fairly long game. I don't know if the devs are still around, but someone said it was like five to eight hours. Think about everything you know and then think about why you know it. Are our thoughts simply hardwired from previous experiences or do we actually have actual control over them? <gasps> I can finish it. Rip. <laughs> Those static seagulls. <laughs> Do I have to click on something? No. Oi shinus. I don't know what it says. Oi shinus. Oi shinus. No, no, kid drowning. Is there a crab under the seat? It scared me. <laughs> Kalina team. Nice. I wonder if it's like they did. Oh, it's, he looks so sad. Oh, it's a toy. They did like Kalina. What's it called again? Colon? Colon. Legacy. So maybe they're making more Kalina games. Maybe they're planning on making it like a series. Mommy's here, my baby. Mommy's here. Mommy saved you. I'm here to take care of you. Is he dead? <sighs> Dr. Pepper today. I was in the mood for sugar. It looks really legit so far. For indie. I hope I don't miss it if the Absolutely devs no say anything. Worrying, and your mother is all right. You know how she is, always thinking the worst about everything. Yes, I know. That's exactly the reason why I worry. Maybe she's done something stupid. I don't think so. You'll see when we get there. She might be a little upset for whatever reason you two fought, but that's all. Why do you assume we fought again? Anyways, I, I don't know. It's been a long time since, you know, I'm just afraid of what she's going to say. Voice acting's nice, yeah. Some effort went into it. It's been a while since, you know, we spent time together as a family. You, the boy, and I. I like my weekends with him. I also like to spend time with you. Not now, Pietro. That's not the time. Honestly, I, I just called you because I was desperate. And there was no one else I could call. Ooh, rough. Hey, hey, hey Daryl. Thank you so much for the raid. Thanks for helping. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Mom? Yes, honey? Daryl's partner now, or partner, uh, affiliate. Still a while to go affiliate! Oh, the rain is so soothing. Why don't you go back to sleep? You can tell me all about your dream later. Okay. Can you wake me up when we get there? I want to see Granny, too. How nice, having the backseat all to yourself. I have two sisters and a brother, so whenever we went on holiday, but in the car, it was the four of us on the back seat. Partner the dream, yeah. I got an achievement for that! A <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mom, where are you? This looks great. I asked you to wake me up when we arrived. Oh, he just wakes up there? Oh, he died in a car crash. Can I read that? Letter of despair. My dearest daughter, this was a very heavy heart that I must tell you of the things that have occurred in the last couple weeks. I cannot sleep. My nights are plagued by horrible nightmares and my days are no better. Filled with strange noises all around the house, I feel like something is following my every step, that something is watching me intimately. I must. It must be something lurking in the darkness. Hee <laughs> hee. It's taunting me, waiting for a vulnerable moment to rob me of my last shreds of my sanity. 
I write to you because I am desperate and I have been drained of all hope. I can no longer see the light anymore. I know things are not great between us, but please, I beg you, send someone to me. Someone has, someone who has the bravery to take me away from here, who can help me leave. I'm losing more and more of myself and being replaced by this place's madness. madness. Try to call, but the phone only seems to mock me. I think I'm nearing my end. Please help me. Okay. That's a flashlight. Nice. Uh, excuse me. The fuck? The fuck's that? Looks fucking great. Holy shit. Old God's amulet. Sure. Fuck, my flashlight's almost out. How do I charge it? <gasps> do I need to find batteries? No. Burning crimson. Doesn't seem to be written in any lone language. Okay. This doesn't seem like Granny has slept on her bed for a while. There's a letter there. Yeah. An alchemist's tale, part one. Amulet seems to react to light. I still cannot grasp entirely why. Oh, I picked up the flashlight and then it started. Okay. Inherently. One must shine light directly through the amulet in order to illuminate the hidden glyphs. Ooh. Can recognize the glyphs as if I've seen them before, but my memory is hazy at best. Cannot trust how I know these glyphs. From what I can reliably recall, these glyphs are known as the glyphs of power used in a long forgotten past when time itself was still quite young. They are meant to reveal an aspect of reality that we are not capable of comprehending on our own. They are meant to be some sort of seal created by God and perhaps even able of sealing a God. Some heavy shit. How, how can I combine those items? Oh! The light illuminates his be features. Krings, thank you. Let me save my battery. Thank you so much for the raid. Have you been checking out Kalina Legacy? Because it seems pretty good so far. Indie horror. So it's right up your alley. Thank you so much. Can I pause? Yeah, I should maybe pause. Today's going to be a chill stream. We're going to take it easy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I hope you're doing well. I hope to see you at the Twitch meetup thing. I think I'm gonna go. In November. Alex, hon, don't blame your father. He's just afraid of what the what fuck? Was that there already? It's purple, so it's doing something. Press Q to select a glyph. The glyph of death contains a part of the silent soul, gift of the life taker absorbing the essence of what once was alive and sending it to the in-between, where the silent reigns as its judge. Its might its might is a powerful weapon against those who will stop Alex. And I have the glyph of gate. Part of the Moonchild's soul, it has the power to guard the gateways between human and gods and to break its locks. Okay. So what do I do with that? How do I select it? I don't really know what I'm doing. It is true terror personified. I can feel his strings in me. Gross. Give them the light. They know my name. Old pictures, I remember these. Is there something else here? Birthday card, cherished. Happy birthday, Granny. I can't believe it's your 68th birthday. I miss you a lot. Yes, even Mom does too, even if she's too stubborn, stubborn to admit it. I wish things were different and that she wasn't so thick-headed and she would come to see you herself. 
I mean, I don't know what happened between you two, and no matter how many times I ask her, she won't tell me. I'm sorry, I should be celebrating your birthday instead of venting on your card. I hope you have an amazing day, and please know how much we all miss you. Just please don't tell mom I sent you this. You know how she can be when she's mad. Love, Alex. Wunzuga! Thank you so much for the sub, Juan! Thank you! Thank you, thank y'all. Let's see. <sighs> What do I do? Oh, it opens. Ooh, that's chained up. It's locked. I can see that. Uh, what's going on here? What the? Is that, Is that blood? blood? The fuck? So this is definitely the house from the demo as well, but I don't really remember what I did in the demo. Oh, I got a painting. Sure, let's keep it. I wonder if I can turn up the sensitivity of the mouse, because it I have to like drag it a lot to uh, look around. Uh, maybe up and down is not necessary. Let's just do this one. Maybe that's better. Nice house! Birthday card never sent. My sweet Alex, congratulations on your 16th birthday. Felt like just yesterday I was holding you in my arms in the hospital and now you're nearly a man. I wish you a full day of joy, my dearest one. I truly wish I could be there with you on your special day. But you know your mom. She wouldn't want me to and I would want you to have the happiest day possible without us fighting for once. Oh man, why are they on such bad terms? I will give you your gift next time you visit me. I miss you so much. Best wishes as always. Love your granny. And then she didn't send it. Jeez. Hold shift to run. Why do I have to know that right now? I don't think I need to run. Second part of an ancient artifact. Don't tell me shift to run. It makes me uneasy. I turned the brightness up. Um ahead of time when I was in the main menu, so that's why it might look a little bit bright. The fuck am I hearing? Is that still the bathroom? Ooh, what's this? Art room key. Nice. Puppet strings. I thought that was intestines. Use the puppet string to heal? The fuck? Why would I use a puppet string to heal? Letter from Nina. Dear mom, I know things haven't exactly always been great between us and I recognize I'm to blame for at least some of it. I've learned to accept that. I'm writing to you today since letters are the only way I can reach you because I wanted to let you know Alex won't be coming to spend next week with you. I know he really wants to and know that Pietro has told you that he would but I cannot allow it. This is, it is getting closer to the anniversary of you know what and I don't want him to have any chance to remember what happened that day. Please do not insist or contact Alex about it. The less he knows what it, what is best for him. The less he knows... The less he knows is what is best. Okay. Regards, Nina. It's a little bit weird. Weird center, sentence structure, but... He's mommy's puppet after all. Oh no! Is that why puppet strings heal me? Am I a puppet? Research part one. Extensiveness of the abilities attributed to the artifact hasn't been... Thoroughly- why am I getting notifications? You guys are distracting me. Please. Do not disturb. Oh. Um, for the most part, the results have been underwhelming, with a majority of the subjects expiring sooner rather than later. Methodology I employed is rather simple. The captured subject is exposed to the artifact and forced to use it for a short period of time that increases daily. Most subjects didn't make it past the first day. I suspected that my methods were failing me. Between the tremendous stress of kidnapping and the torture, which is still deemed as a necessary evil to this day, I wasn't receiving the results we had initially hoped for. What? After I finished with the current control group, I will update my methods. Currently, the documented side effects across all subjects were of increased paranoia, insomnia, and loss of notion of time. Okay. Round. Round. 
Excuse me? So I drowned as a kid. Ritual, part one. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna move on. The ritual had been written several centuries ago by the clever sphinx and delivered to the scholars. With time, a keen studi studiousness, studiousness, and a great deal of trial and error, they were able to understand the sphinx's elusive composition and re replicate the ritual for themselves. It described a particular set of tasks and s the tasks the subject of the ritual must go through to either open or close the door to the space betwixt the stars, the slumbering dimension where we have trapped the sun of the moon. There, originally, the old god rested after the creation of the worlds. Lovecraftian? Is this Lovecraftian? And the door was yet to be sealed, but it woke up once the scholar shut the gateway, trapping the eldest. Ooh, out of fear of not knowing what they had uncovered, they hastily shut the door again with the remaining power provided by the ritual. It was a mistake they later realized. Once they knew humanity would have no choice but to pay for, for the day when the firstborn sp breaks free, he will undoubtedly seek retribution upon those who had the hubris to believe they could contain him. They had betrayed their creator and thought they could ascend to this level as, they, as if they could even remotely deserve the powers the universe had to offer. What the fuck did I just read? So many papers. Of Wrath. In a time long forgotten, when time itself dwelled in the space between the cosmos, the son of the moon poured all of his might into the creation of the divine glyphs. The power was so immense as, if, as it was derived from the essence of the universe. He remained undaunted and victorious, never once resting in pursuit of his grand design. Absolute and infinite, the son of the moon reigned supreme as his rule went undisturbed as time began to grow and shift the cosmos. Cosmos. Um, when he finally felt everything was as it should be, it was only then did it was only then did he seek respite during his rest life as we've come to understand it came to be in existence life learned how to evolve to adapt but life was also ambitious with the singular goal of expansion in this chase for power a new race of beings arose they were called humans but humans were plagued by thoughts of their existence and their purpose this is a lot of reading the humans had looked upon the stars for answers and the stars gazed back. The Ancient Ones, son of the Eldest, taught the humans of a spell that was as, was an ancient, as, was as ancient as the universe itself. It was a potent spell. Given this new power, the humans used the magic for destruction. For humans, was, for humans were easy prey to corruption's allure, slaves to their imp impulses and ambitions. Yes, that's true. Emboldened by magic, the humans awoke the dormant son of the moon and imprisoned the god with magic. They sealed the door to the other realm with a primitive man-made amulet designed to be both a key and a prison. Ashamed and humiliated, the son of the moon made a vow of revenge against his would-be captors. So he became more, took on the persona of the puppet master, a monster worse than death as he fed upon the sanity of those who dared to use his own magic against him. The puppet master made the human <laughs> humans will made the human's will his own, biding his time, setting plans in motion. In the space between the cosmos, there were more grand beings and they too were watching. The Almighty, also known as the Wise One, observed from his perch in oblivion as the sun of the moon plotted and purged. The eldest observes too and he is restless, for he doesn't forgive, nor does he forget. That's me. Never forgive, never forget. Basically goes for any girl. Are those batteries? Oh, battery charger! That's nice. Uh, do I need to find a power plug? What's that? Can I take that? No. These books are falling apart. Sorrows of Young Wer Werther? Werther's candy. The Adventures of Pinocchio. Wizard of Oz. Scenes in the Mists. Um, where can I find a charging spot, though? <laughs> I'm grandma, bro. <laughs> I need to charge my phone, bro. Can you make me a sandwich, bro? This is the art room. Just use the key. Maybe in the kitchen. There's also a message on the phone. Mom, stop saying those things to Alex when he calls you. 
You've already turned my husband against me. Now you want to do the same with my son? Just stop it, or else I'll forbid him calling as well. You wouldn't want that, would you? Damn. Mom, are, are you there? Is everything all right? Call us back when you can. Mom, I'm Way to go, Nina. Blame your mom for everything. Down the hill. We've been trying to contact you for a while. I know you're still mad at me, but please, at least answer when Pietro calls you. Mom, I know you're there. Stop playing stupid games with us. Sorry, I just... Uh, we're so <laughs> Can you make me a sandwich, bro? Sure thing, you. sure thing, bro. We're on our way there. <laughs> Talk later. Maybe we find a number at some point. <clears throat> Burpee. Ah, there we go. Young Prodigy is a national finalist. Alexander Mataria. Sounds like a pizza. Sorry, that's, <laughs> that's kind of insulting. <laughs> is considered a prodigy am amongst his town folk of Sila. He has become the pride of his city of Naples. Alex, as he's lovingly called by his family, lovingly. <laughs> Alex is just short for Alexander. It's not that lovingly. It's not like they call him like sweet cakes or something. Managed to be in last year's former national chess champion. Oh. So he managed to beat last year's former national, not in. This win secured Alex a spot as a finalist of the 23rd annual national chess championship. When we asked Alex himself, so now the newspaper is calling him Alex dotingly as well. And what was the secret to winning? He said, there's no secret really. The secret, the secret to my, no oh, wait, what is it again? The secret to my secret ingredient noodle soup is nothing. Uh, no secret really, just a love of studying too many chess guides and books, but most importantly of all practice and discipline. Final game to determine the winner will take place next weekend. We wish Alexander the best of luck. The I secret ingredient to my secret ingredient noodle soup. Uh, that's not okay. Please tell me that's not hair. It's locked. Okay, yeah, it's it's kind of locked. I mean, I wouldn't want to go in there. It's so hard. To oh, can I can I charge here? Hmm. Do I need batteries for it? I think I have batteries. Oh! Oh! There it goes! So they're charging now? I'm guessing the light will be green when it's ready. Newspaper report! Man maniac has been caught! Appears the citizens of Sea can now sleep safely that the maniac has been removed from the streets. Monday the 12th of May at approximately 6.21pm the suspect- Oh! I think they're charged. <gasps> So stuff is actually happening in the game as I'm reading this. Shit. Monday the 12th of May, approximately the subject whose name had been kept from the public as per safety regulations was arrested by a police officer on duty after they attempted to assault and steal from an elderly woman. Bruh. The victim has chosen to remain anonymous at this time. Is it this granny? The suspect known primarily for their crimes of petty theft admitted they were attempting to mug the elderly woman of a piece of jewelry. Though the suspect initially claimed that they knew her and that the jewel in question previously belonged to them, these claims since then have been proven to be false. An insider source who has also chosen to remain anonymous at this time revealed to us that throughout the interrogation the suspect behaved rather erratically. The thief seemed as if they, the thieves seemed as if they were afraid of something, as if they were afraid of their own shadow. Okay, weird phrasing. At first, we att attributed the behavior to possible chemical abuse or signs of mental mental. Is I think the creators of this game are Italian, isn't it? So that would explain it. They probably did everything themselves. However, when the suspect confessed that they were the one behind this recent string of kidnappings and murders that have been concur concurrently taking place in the village for the past few weeks, it was incredibly unexpected. 
They also claimed to be a doctor, but upon police inspection of the suspect's house, there was no evidence to support their claim. Instead, there were files and reports found that the suspect's house that contained disturbing and gruesome details of his alleged alleged experiments. Experiments. Experimenten. Uh, we have been unable to uncover more clues as of yet to support their claims, but after a recent medical examination, the suspect has been declared clinically insane. Looney. <gasps> cookies! Amazing cookies! I want. Can I have them? No. The dish is gross. They haven't been done well. But cookies! Cupcakes? Ominous message. Do not forget what happened last time. What happened last time, Grandma? It's full! Nyaha! I charged it. I did a thing. If this is a granny's home, that cookie tin ha only has sewing, sewing supplies in it. Yeah. <laughs> But I want cookies. Oh, uh, I did open that room, didn't I? The one in the back there. Grandma, what are you into? Oh, that's another one of those paintings. Hmm. Don't know where I need to put them yet. There's a monster out there. Mommy, there's a monster out there, the boy exclaimed. His voice strained from sobbing. He insti 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 instinctively ran towards his mom, seeking the safety of her embrace. She hugged him gently in return, hoping her embrace enough to calm the boy's cries. Shh, she whispered into his hair, her hand cradling the back of his head as she spoke. Honey, tell mommy what you saw. She pulled back then, wiping a tear that just spilled over his left cheek. Kneeling before him, she placed her arms on his shoulders, making her the center of his universe. Damn. As he looked up at her tender expression, he stared at her for a moment then, allowing the love of his mother to wash over him before finding the courage to speak up again. His voice trembled as he answered, I saw a, ma I saw a man, mommy. Big man with a weird arm. Smiling, she giggled to herself as she pulled her son in. Why would you giggle at that? What the fuck was he doing with that arm? It was no monster, honey. It was just a man who is a little different from us is all. Her voice unwavering and reassuring that, that for that's what he needed at this moment, even if a small part of her heart feels still felt unease, felt uneasy. Oh, I see. But mommy, the boy insisted, pushing further into her arms as his words came out muffled against her shoulder. The man had no eyes. Hmm. That's a little bit creepy. Why is that here? So I got the painting painting granny's been working on. I like that he says granny. <laughs> so me. Can we just go out? Nope. It's not even an option. Did I try this door? Locked. Um, okay, so we have two paintings. Charged flashlight. Oh. This mind of yours. We should probably have a better look at stuff. Uh, fighting against complacency. The humans tremble in fear. For I know their sin. Jeez, Granny. In the realm other, slumbering beneath the waves, it lies. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 bruh. It's not my fault. I wonder if there's like actual hints. Oh. Oh, what's this? Uh, numbers. 0791081003207111111. I wonder if it's code for something. 
It can't really be letters. Because then there wouldn't be that many ones and zeros in a row. Hmm. I don't know. This is his design. They want to tell you how it began. Who that battery is draining fast. Um I'm sorry for all for all what? For all the deception. And then it says here the cookies are a lie. Why are the flies purple? I wonder how I can switch amulets. Oh, look at that. Hmm. So, I used the one key that I found. I have two paintings. Um, how did I... How did I switch... Q, okay. Oh, now it's blue. Oh! Oh! Oh, I did a thing. Zeno, see you later! Good luck with work! Okay, okay. Going well. Young Alex's art. Alex is so doting. Me, Grandma Mommy. Scholar's Tale in the Vast and labyr Labyrinthian. Ooh, we should watch the Labyrinth. <gasps> Halls of the Tellurian's Temple, the Moonchild Slumbers. It was surprising to learn, for we always assumed its resting place was in the mountains of a barren and cold land, where an ancient race of beings had once called their home. When we found it, however, it came at an immense price. We paid for our prying and learned the lesson of disturbing something better off left dormant. He laid at the bottom of an endless abyss, and even though we understood the language of his father, we could not palaver, palaver? I don't know how to pronounce that, with the moon child. According to the records we were able to excavate from the underground levels of the temple, it seems the creature arrived at the abyss, at the abyss after the ones before us initial, initially opened the door. It was strange that the door should be left open, and I would even go so far as to speculate it was summoned. It has happened before, as the ones before us had done with Burning Crimson. We don't know why it remains. It seems to be guarding something, perhaps even the door itself. Okay. That's an interesting box. Oh, it's only dots and- oh, it's Morse code. Morse code, five letters. Gotcha. Let's think about that. Oh, the paintings must go here. Try a name. Oh! Granny. <laughs> Can I combine those? Combine it with the god's amulet? Hmm. I don't know how to combine things. Um, that looks purple though. So Q, switch to death. Oh, that's awesome. Holy shit, that's really cool. Let me read this first though. Children's nursery rhyme. Almighty, who might it be? If not the sun, then the sun and the sea. Almighty, who might it be? It's the stars who shine brightly with glee. Almighty, who might it be? The children whom run and hide and flee. Almighty, who might it be? The sun of the moon, he has come for me. Ooh. What is it? Shard of the orb of the moon. Oh no. What's this? 
Safe. Oh, it's a safe spot. Huh. Wait a minute. The light's off. Can I only use it once? <gasps> that would not be fun. Oh my god, I can't use it again. Oh no, it's back on. Ooh, okay. I thought it was limited saves. Um, let's see, a name. A name, maybe something family related? What's the, what's the name of the, uh, the grandma? Do we know? Because I think she's only been called mom or granny so far. Happy birthday, granny. Nina. Grandma, mommy. Hmm. Ah! Oh. Oh. It snapped both ways. That doesn't happen normally. Hmm. Should we, um... Charge again? But also, like, what what's with the dots and dashes? That's all I can do, so... Or can I... No. Yeah, that's really all I can do. So maybe there's a code somewhere? If you decipher the swan's code, all will be revealed. Oh! Oh! It's blinking in a pattern! Okay. Dash, dot, dot, dash, dot. Dash, dot, dot, dash, dot. Ah! Oh, quiet, that's not your food. I know you want it, but it's not your food. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait. Wait, Kitty. Wait. <laughs> wait! <laughs> yeah, I know, but you're all like in my cables and stuff. Yeah, it's your own fault. Ugh. Ugh. Not your food. That's Big Boss's food. That was really cool, yeah. That was. That was a great little puzzle. Holy shit. No quiet. Fuck, now I have to put it here for now and then she goes up the stairs and I'll put it back on my desk. And so the dance continues forever. Okay, so we need to find four paintings. I have two so far. I didn't see anything else in the room. Fuck, safe point. That means that from this point on we can basically die. <laughs> yes. Quaid, what are you doing? Just playing with my caps. They're all lined up here. Do it again. Look. I'm not really sure what she's doing, but... Oh. oh, she's trying to eat the top of the cap. That's naughty, kitty. Those are mine. <gasps> she fell off. She's trying to eat this little thing. She slid off the desk. Um, okay. That was really good. That was a cool puzzle. I'm also happy, proud of myself, that I figured it out. <laughs> okay, so we're starting to figure out color-coded things. 
Wait, maybe then... We have blue and purple so far, right? Oh, that's green and red. Never mind. Probably have to put them in order of budding. I I think this is still the demo, though, because I remember doing the thing with the paintings. Uh, let's see. Can't see anything there. Listen to your conscious. I don't have one! Heh <laughs> Dearest puppet. Puppet of mine. Beware of the Sphinx. What should we do next, though? Oh, the green one. Uh, do we have green yet? We only have those two. And it's purple and blue, right? Nothing. Okay, so that one's for later. Finish what I started. Oh. Hmm. Granny, granny, granny. What should I do next? Did we try the blue on the attic door? Well, there's no color indicator, so we probably just need like a hook or something for that. It's so creepy. Mm. Yeah, there's nothing really I can do here. We have blue. We have blue and uh, purple. I feel like I checked everywhere pretty thoroughly, though. I feel like the next thing would be combining items. But I don't know how to do that. Because mm, I feel like this one can click into these, but... We have one and two. Maybe it just auto-completes when we find everything. Hmm. Think we missed something? Oh. Wait, is that a paint thing? Ah, third one. Oh, we only need one more then. Maybe we should. Maybe it's just on the wall somewhere. Maybe we just haven't seen because it's kind of subtle. We have one in this room. We picked up one in the art room. This one's locked, I think. Let's see. It's not that one. Nothing here. Smell unbearable. Um, we picked one up in this room, didn't we? Unless... No, that's not it. Hmm... Okay, not in this room. Is it the bathroom? Were we so distracted by the bloody toilet? No. Hmm. Well, that's number three. Where is numero four? It's probably just put in order of them, of the rose budding. Don't know if it's the third or the fourth one, though, this one. 
Hello, people coming in. So, oh wait, that thing on the... this looks special. Ah, Alex, of course. Don't kill me if it's wrong, please. Uh, come on. Dining room key! Aha! That must be it! Don't kill me now. I remember fighting in demo. <laughs> oh! Oh, this is where you part put the things. Quarrel of Light. The Raider of the Stars, also known as the Butcher of Light, is perhaps one of the most intriguing but also most forgotten of the ancient deities. Wait, did I... No, I didn't miss anything. I was thinking maybe I missed some notifications, but I did not. He is a paradoxical being, an ode to irony, for he is the entity that primarily represents both the darkness of night and the sun in the old world. According to many legends, he is the one who bestows a weapon made of light. This weapon is called the Light Sword, and it is also his brother. It contains the source of their sun's burning energy, unique only to their realm. There have been scattered tales and rumors throughout varying cultures that the brothers hated each other and often fought. Their endless clashes causing destruction and chaos. Their battles shape their seasons of all Earths as they begin their fighting in the fall and only retreat briefly during the spring. Their quarrel had begun when the Raider of the Stars seized the Light Sword's energy and used it to shine the world and the universe in the uh, light, so pure that had only e ever been previously reserved to the gods. Something did happen. Jack, thank you for the bits. Thank you. Finding a moment of opportunity, the Light Sword found a way to escape the raider's clutches and found sanctuary with the Tellurian. Tellurian. Their rivalry carries on as it always will until the sun and the earths are no more and their dust has finally returned to the void. That was also a pretty good movie. The Void. I really like our movie night things because I've seen so many good horror movies that I wouldn't have seen otherwise. Uh, excuse me? Uh, what the fuck do I do? What are we trying to make? I'm a little bit flabbergasted. Maybe something fits on that little triangle edge there. Not really. Excuse me? Was there anything we were looking for? They all don't really seem to fit together. It's Alex. How though? Would this thing be the A then? But then it would be mirrored. Or do you think all the tiny bits are Alex? Oh, that fits kind of like a like a arrow. Wait, see that? It's like kind of like an arrow. Look at the papers again.
Which one though? There's so many. Is there one with the drawing? Don't forget what happened. This one? No, it's just a Christmas card. Can I turn it around? Nope. There's a little owly. Oh, here! It is an arrow. Points left and then there's like the C is to the right. Okay. Nice. Um, that one does... Oh! I see it now. With like the little edge there. How they go together. Like that. Oh, one back. So, something like this? What? Um... Do I get a new one? Oh, really cool. The glyph of light. Someone there. Fuck. Here we go! It wasn't green though. Oh, oh, Jesus! Jesus! Holy fuck! Ah, ah. Oh my god, oh my god. What do I do? What do I do? Death? No? Oh my god, run! Gates? She's still there! She's wearing blue, but holy shit! She ain't doing anything! Close the door. Close the door! Ha ah, ha ha! What do I do? What the fuck do I do? I tried all of them. Death seemed to burn her. Holy shit, that was intense. It does, it does burn her. Uh. Oh. Holy shit, that's fucking intense. Don't tell me it's just gonna stay there. Okay, whew, it's gone. Hello? Oh, sorry. Anymore. Hello? <laughs> Granny. Granny, where are you? Where's mom? Please, Alex. It wants you to remember last time you were here. <sighs> Granny, you're fucking useless, bruh. Holy shit, that ghost. Okay, we have a new light thingy. I just want another painting, though. 
Is there one here? Okay, there's gotta be something. What are these white things in this plant? Are those supposed to be flowers? I thought it was paper. Oh, uh... Give them life. Well, I certainly gave something life. It guides you. It compels you. Beware of the six. The light shines through void. Ooh, that scared me! Thane, thank you so much! Ooh, that's purple. Um... I think that's pretty much it. What's my inventory like? Not much. Half of a swan trinket. Asna, hey! Thank you so much! Ah, there's your gold! It looks so nice! Thank you so much! Half of a swan trinket. Tome of Burning Crimson. Ancient book, strange etchings, etch etchings on the cover. Amulet. Okay. So, we have parts of things, but nothing really. There's gotta be something we can do with our new glyph. Oh, there's something on a door. Turn back. Depid dead Odi uh Oedipus? How do you say that in English? I don't know. Oedipus? Maybe that's what you guys say. Yeah, I I did heal, but like it seems like the heal's a full heal and I can take another hit, so I'm waiting to get hit again. And then I'll heal. Oedipus. I think Brenda, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the Dutch is Oedipus. I actually don't really know. That's that's the downside to knowing so many languages that you start losing track of how things are pronounced in a certain one. Okay, so we didn't find any painting yet, but we have a new glyph. Okay, what? The blue fairy has a tail to tell. Can you tell me a story? Of course, my child. I can tell you a story. What? I haven't heard that one yet, mommy. Is it good? Of course, my child. It's my favorite. There once was a father and a son. The father loved to I will heal you. Until the very day. Made a terrible prophecy that changed everything. Really? What did the witch say, Mommy? You shall be the monster in your son's nightmares. His mother will be his, and only his, and yours will be the doom. These are weird words, Mommy. <laughs> These are weird words, Mommy. Time boys wait for when the time is right, my love. Don't get ahead of yourself. The father could not bear the thought of death. It must be a tough one, right, love? He abandoned the small child. A new father and a new mother found him. They told him his parents were better, that they would never leave him. They said his other father was a monster, and that his other mother had done terrible things to him. The crone became his new mother. The child would only listen. Hmm. What about his new father? Mommy? Ooh, good one, Liam. I'll try that. Loved him very much. Oh, his new father? Well, some would say he's a sphinx. Some say he's a god. What's a sphinx, mommy? Oh my, aren't you a crying one, my little king? Mommy doesn't know much about sphinxes, honey. Mommy only knows they are riddle givers, and that they will punish you if you don't answer. I wouldn't want a sphinx to be my daddy. Oh no, hun. Your dad is. I wonder if I can walk away while listening to this. Mommy. Yes. Hun. Why did they do it? The crone, I mean, and, and his new father. They wanted to take him from his other father and mother all along. They said it was to protect him. Such a horrendous lie. And he died and did it. 
Oh, Jesus! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Fuck, fuck, fuck. She was telling the story from the living room. I was listening to her telling the story. Oh my god. <laughs> This fucking lady, Jesus. At least I get a puppet string each time I defeat her. That's really nice. <laughs> I didn't think there was anyone there, yeah. I'm charging Thogru, yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> that really got me, that was really good. She was just chilling out on the couch and then I walked in on her and she was like, Who the fuck was listening to me? <laughs> uh. Okay. Void. Yeah, Liam, that's great. That was a great idea. Uh, I might want to... Before I go in there, let's go save. Man, this has been fucking amazing so far. This really preceded... Uh, preceded my expectations? Can you say that? I think so. Okay. Wait, leave Granny's house? What? <gasps> We're outside. Oh! Oh, the thing in the toilet is also something we can do with the light. We need another glyph. Research, part three. Second subject was surprisingly more resilient. Chose an elderly woman who lived alone on a hill. Oh, our granny. Who I often helped with chores and groceries. It was important I kept up appearances as to not garner suspicion. She appeared fairly healthy considering her age. Though she seemed to be suffering from the early stages of dementia. Uh, in truth, I had expected her to fare worse than my first subject. That she would only survive a couple of hours at most. Presently, she has been exposed for the artifacts to the artifact for 27 days and counting. Her mental health, however, has been steadily declining. She has called the police 15 times in the past two weeks with claims of hearing strange and disturbing sounds in and around her property. I assumed it was due to the associated paranoia and hallucina hallucinations in the correlation to previous subjects. However, it seems the amulet itself reacted differently to her as it, its effect didn't seem as strong as it did with previous subjects. Wait. So, maybe the granny... I was like a cat hair. Uh, there. Maybe the granny was like actually fighting evil forces in her house and then some other prick from outside decided to start experimenting on her and then she was like getting her weird paranoia stuff as she was trying to keep something under control. Oh hey, we can do that one. Oh, it's the painting. Okay. Oh, but it's on the inside though. Um, I wish... You know what they could have done? These glyphs on this little wheel as you select them should have the color that you need. Like this one should glow up white, this one should glow up purple. It would make it easier. Yeah, I think it's on the inside. Oh, that's purple. Venture into the woods? No. What the fuck? I can just leave the house? What the hell? So many things to do here. Hey. Thank you. Ooh. Ah! This might be from the codes on the wall. Any hints? Did I just hear someone walking? Okay. Didn't think so. 
thought I saw someone in the back. Generators are a way for Alex to recharge his batteries while he's outside. <gasps> Holy shit. Are we really like going into the woods and stuff? Oh my god. Wait, can I walk on this? Yeah. Oh, it's another one of those. Yay! I love that puzzle. That was great. Lady of the Golden Womb. Oh, oh my. Let me into your womb. Lady of the Golden Womb, born out of the whisper from the void and the flicker of a dying thought, is a deity known for both misfortune and venture. She ventures with her swollen golden and bright valley across the outer skies. It sounds kind of gross. She shines her light throughout the darkest corners of the unknown silence. She was entrusted with the glyph of life, for her womb of gold bears the energy of all creation. Awkward. My eyes! Okay, stop. Okay. No! Fuck. <gasps> Ooh! Now I have two halves, don't I? Two halves make a hole. Probably have to find a space to... a spot to use it. Oh, I can't... I can't want craft the thing. Thank y'all! This is great so far. Holy shit. Oh, he's getting tired. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. Okay. I think we're doing well so far. So many healing items. I mean, I'm not complaining. Holy shit. Those puppets can be really aggressive. Where the fuck am I going? This place is so big! I thought it was going to be just a house for some reason. Silent darkness. Folklore passed down by the generations has taught us that the first thing one sees when they die is called the silent. He is an ambiguous being, slender with the height of an in insurmountable tower, his ever watchful eyes glaring scornfully at one's spirit. It is in this moment he allows the spirit to peer once onto the infinite, to aid one's understanding of its place amongst the whole of creation and the endless void, seeing its future and past iterations of itself in the many universes that exist at once. Once the spirit acknowledges its place among all there is, only then is one able to proceed into oblivion and restore its borrowed energy to all things. I have no idea what I just read. Tome of the Lady. Can I read it? Oh no, I just have tomes. Maybe we need to put them somewhere at some point. Hello? Fuck, there's so many healing items everywhere. It makes me think like this is going to be one huge battlefield at some point. Almost 200 viewers. Thank you, guys. Alchemist's Tale, part two. Once all the glyphs have been assembled and the ritual has begun, there's only one way to leave the ritualistic cir circle and free one's soul from the binding of the amulet. You must absolutely complete the ritual. Failure to do so or any interruption to the ritual's process will end in a possibly permanent irreversible, irre irreversible binding. One must also cast the spell, though not just any old spell will do. It must be the spell passed down from the first of our kind. Damn. The amulet contains the power source necessary to observe the seals that bind the door to the other realm. After absorbing the energy of each glyph, you must then learn them. Each glyph has a unique spell of its own, and they contain the essence of the undying gods and must be handled with utmost caution and specific specificity. Is that how you actually spell that? Specific. Oh, fuck. Specific. Specificity. Specificity. What? <laughs> I'm stuck on that word. <laughs> By learning the glyphs in their true form, it allows the one who casts the spell to the to be able to comprehend the design of all things and to unequivocally something seal and open the doors to all the other realms in many universes. Felicity. 
<laughs> ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Puppet string. I hope at some point we can permanently kill that one puppet. Banish it or something. That would be cool. Like in Project Zero, it, like you fight something a couple times and then... What's that? Oh, is that another piece of the orb? Huh! This is laying here. Okay. Like in Fatal Frame 1, like you fight something a couple times and then eventually it'll be a flamey and then... Excuse me? It'll be done. Scholar and the Door, part one. Whatever this word is pronounced, yeah. <laughs> I should do that. <laughs> when conversing with the Mother of Gods, I asked why humans amongst all the other living beings in the vast universe were so keen on knowing everything. She told me because humans were the offspring of the Tellurian, we were also doomed to bear his mistakes. Intrigued, I wanted to inquire further about what flaws a godly, godly being could possess, but time was fleeting and I could feel myself being pushed back. I was still half awake when I went back through one of the many doors and caught a glimpse of something no one else in the Order had seen yet. The Grand Master was eager to hear of what I had learned afterwards, to know what ha I had seen laying dormant inside the many of the many doors. This actually sounds like exactly like um, the last door. Remember that point-of-click game? I really, really liked that one, but I somehow played it both times I played it. It was like when I was recording a bunch of shit for like a holiday, so I was like super rushed and tired to get through it. Kind of just want to play it again on my own pace. Hmm. So we have two boxes with codes. Six five five three two one. Nothing special. Oh, maybe... No, I don't really see anything. Should we venture out in the woods? Charge our batteries and go? Oh, there's something here. Oh, what? Oh, am I... Oh! Am I doing one of these puzzles? <sighs> okay. Hey, Juan! Thank you! Thank you so much! Mm, let me see... Oh, okay. I think... Let me just... So... The sun should be up top. Oh, you can slide two at the same time. So top left is gonna be empty? No, that's this one. Okay, let me see. Um, it's for some reason really hard with the keyboard to do this. Um... That's the top. So the bottom right's going to be empty. I'm guessing. So that dude should be on the left. Okay. Um, let me then just... Oh, hey, look. I can do this, it just always takes me a little bit. So this guy should be up top, okay. Mm. Okay, that's good. I think that should be it, actually. Hey, 
Hey, orb of the moon. That's creepy though. Hmm. That seems to be it for here. We have two pieces of the swan thing now. I should save. Do I have to do that inside? I think so. Should be with one of those puppet things, right? <sighs> Are we going in the well at some point? Fucking cool! Oh, can I go up? Probably not. No. How are we gonna get in here? Is there gonna be like... Is there like a hatch somewhere that we go through the well and then exit here? So we only don't know which words or numbers to choose for these guys. We could have another look at those on the... Those numbers in the run room. Control Alex with care, the puppet is fragile. What? Hey, Gilvik! Thank you so much! Ooh, 19! So close to 20! Uh, saving is upstairs. Through that window, use the light. Oh, that open window. Ah, yeah, you're right. Smart. Let me just save. Uh, wait, I'm gonna make a new one. Yeah. That scares me. The pop up. Fuck. Death. Should I charge? No. <laughs> Where am I going? Bye! 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 <laughs> I'm just gonna leave her inside. That's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's all fine. Wait, is that another orb piece? But I already had a full one. Do I need multiple? Hmm. So this is open. Uh, you guys are smart cookies. Yes, so smart. It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, she's creepy. There's another green guy down there, but. Well, maybe the green one grows something. Finish what I started. Alex, dear, I hope you find this note. If you do, it means you found the amulet. There's hope then. That's the first step, hun. I already laid the groundwork for you. All you gotta do is follow its design. I prepared the ritual but could not finish it. I'm afraid I might be too frail, not a worthy vessel, f vessel for the might inside the amulet. I was foolish, my love. I think I might have done something horrible. The old god, the son of the moon, has gotten me. Got me? Alex, dear, I urge you, collect the glyphs, finish the ritual, and you shall see them again, your parents. You might just remember what they really are. Under the earth, there's a door and a temple. Inside, there's a portal. Through you shall find the warden, and then the old god shall find itself. Go and meet my friend, my fiend? Go and, f go and meet the fiend, my dear. Sorry. Give me peace. Find the sun of the moon. Face the old god. <clears throat> Do it for me, for them, the tr for truth, so you can remember it once again and erase that heinous, heinous dream. Heinous? Heinous. But be careful, love. There are those who seek to stop you. The children of gods and the flaming hounds seek to destroy you. The moon child waits below, the hound waits around. Be mindful of their might. Good luck, my love. Forgive me. Valentina and C6. Okay. Mm, well, let's do the painting bit, see what comes of it. And get ready for puppet. Hey, zombie! She's gonna be right in my face, isn't she? Oh, the painting's changed. To something weird? Oh, it's like 
two more strawberries. Is she gone? I'm not hearing her talking, so. Oh, Maya, see you later. Oh, it withered. Oh, that's the last one. Yes. No! -ho -ho! Give it to me! I hope it's green. Please be green or red. Yes! The Glyph of Life. Aha! It's green! Yes! Bam! Yeah! Oh, what? So come to life, actually. Um, is it pointing to something? Under the rug? Um, quiet, there's nothing here. <laughs> She's just walking here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, whatever. I just want to check if that delicious food is still here. <laughs> Lady, I was fucking drinking. Jeez. Quiet. Yeah, she's looking for the food. Quiet. Can you just fuck off for a little bit? I'm playing a game. Don't kick the can, please. <laughs> you. She's just hanging here. Hi. Just, no, no, don't walk that way. No. My Dr. Pepper is over there. I don't want you to knock it over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, baby. No! Are you gonna meow right in the microphone? I'm holding her. <laughs> Look at her. Are you okay with that? She really doesn't care. <laughs> She's just hanging here. <laughs> Love you. She really doesn't care. Stay there. Stay there. Okay. Can she open doors? I don't think so, but I'm not sure. This doesn't seem to do anything anymore, so looks like it could have been alive once. What is it exactly pointing to? Oh, she found it! Fuck! Mom? I was like, I'm hearing something. She's eating Big Boss's food. You're not allowed to eat that, baby. It's bad for your bladder. You can tell me what to do. If I want to eat bad food, I want to eat bad food. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. It's right behind you. Something fell. Did you hear that? Something fell over. Hmm. Downstairs? You think it's like one floor below? 
she is definitely fucking walking around here, though. Get stuck! And get fucked! The sounds remind me of, um... <sighs> Evil Within. Evil Within 2? So, you think there's something here? Shine your light on the floor to where the doll was pointing. Maybe, yeah. I thought I did that, though. Yeah, let's try that. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. I'm a little bit tired. I don't know. Doesn't seem to react to anything. Why did it change like that, though? It's definitely pointing and looking at something. Maybe the void one? Give them the light. Hmm. I don't really know, actually. Anything you in your inventory? I have the two swan parts. I have a full... Wait, where did it go? I had a full orb of the moon. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe it made me stronger or something? But now I only have the one shard. Maybe you made a new glyph? I don't think so. That wasn't like a big shiny thing I could accept. Hmm. Maybe it's downstairs. Yeah, I just looked though. Let me just charge real quick. They charge super fast. Fuck. Every time I... Every time I charge or save, she spawns. I haven't heard that one yet, mommy. Is it good? Of course, my child. She's sitting in the living room again, I think. <laughs> yeah. Don't I have an extra health bar now? Bottom right? So Orb of the Moon is a health, an extra health thingy. I think. Rebel's Folly. I Was that there before? Or have I just not picked it up yet? There was a rebel once who fled to the furthest reaches of this dimension. Filled with the bitterness of their defeat to break free, they, de they desired to open a door to the other realm. When they did manage to bridge the other realm with ours, a raider of the stars burst through. What? Wielding the mighty light sword in its hand, with, fires in his with fire in his eyes, he found and captured the Tellurian to bring him before the Ancient Ones. Oh yeah, lay it on me, Fritz.
Wait, what? What did I do? I can do something here. Hmm. <gasps> it's Big Boss. <gasps> My baby. Hi. Do you want some food? Oh, he's so beautiful. You want some? No, he doesn't. Okay. It's pointing to where other dolls are, so you have to follow the direction it's pointing through the house. It pointed here, though. I don't see another doll here. So that one pointed down, but does it mean there's one on the ground floor somewhere, maybe? Ah. Um. Okay, so now in this room, I think I heard someone spawn, by the way. Oh, okay. It's safe. So now outside. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. We're skipping out on her. So maybe here? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um Ooh. Sorry if I hear the bell. Uh, Quiet's going absolutely berserk <laughs> on the scratching pole. Holy fuck! It's like a scratching pole of like three feet high, and she's just hanging in it with like four paws. And then there's like a little cat toy on the top, and she's just like holding it in her mouth. <laughs> the glyph of blood. Oh, that must be the red one. Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Big guy! Big guy! Big guy! Big guy! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! I need to... Uh, uh, should we try the blood one? No, oh, he's so big! Oh my god! No! Okay, let's try the death one. Yeah, that's it. No. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. How many do you need? Jesus. Oh, he's hurt. Fuck. Holy shit. Oh, he has little holes. No. Gross. Oh! Alex. It was Daddy! I'm sorry. Father, I I didn't know, Father. I didn't mean to. I mean it was only a flashlight. Responsible for what it does to you, my son. Wait, did I just actually beat my father to death or wish, something? I just wish I wasn't your monster. I'm sorry I couldn't save you from it. What? It's my fault. It's all my fault. I let you drown. I was just afraid she would love you more than she ever loved me. <laughs> Forgive me, son. Wait. You drown me out of jealousy? Excuse me? What? Forgive me, father. Wait, what the fuck's happening? Yeah. Um also, what did that give me? Um. Yeah, this is done. Because mm. he showed up. I guess it's just part of the game that's done now. Uh... 
Um, okay, let's, um, check out the bathroom first. Oh, no, wait. There's this little green thing here. Yeah, something growing! Ah! Look! Hadn't seen it there. We have three tomes now. There's books up there. That's so cool. Not really a good place to keep them, though. Because isn't a greenhouse usually really, like, humid and stuff? Okay. Let's uh, do the red toilet inside and save. Ah, Gertie, thank you. Yeah, my new glasses. I, s I have to get used to them, too. They're quite big, actually. I need to adjust the frame, too. Go back to the shop in a week or two and have it adjust a little bit. Okay. Blood. <gasps> a key! Basement key. Ah! Oh, fuck! Um, can I... please? Can I exit? Okay, thank you. This is really, really fun so far. I bet... I fucking spawned a lady. Flush the toilet with light. Yeah, basement, that's gonna be fun. Ah oh, man, I'm super duper tired though. I think... Let me see, how many glyphs do I have now? Five. So... Three more? No, quiet, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that meow? It was like a meow when she was well, she was still trying to eat it. So I was like, meow, meow, meow. <laughs> this little baby. I'll give you some food, okay? You should ask daddy for some food. No. I should have brought the food here. Meow. She keeps trying to get to Big Boss's food. No, quiet. No. No! No! No. Look at her. I'm trying to get to it. It's right here. Try it. Try it. <laughs> How long do you think before she dries again? Oh, there she goes. No. No. Back it up. <laughs> oh, she gave up. She's gonna go behind my monitors and try it from the other side. Okay, I'll just give it to Pika real quick, because otherwise she's gonna keep interrupting us. One sec. Quiet interruption is always welcome. <laughs> yeah. She is dang cute. Okay. Let's see. Uh, continue. Batteries. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna do the well next. We got. Oh no, basement. Basement. Basement key. Hello, mom. Fuck it. I'm going to the basement. Oh, I yield accidentally. <coughs> okay, so far so good. There's definitely something behind here. Wait, what? I can do something here? What is it? B4 or something? Oh, there's another one here. Oh, and this. A mother's wish. We're still going great, right? Yeah. Lady of the Golden Womb. Ugh. Nurtured the moon child with a mother's love as she watched this hatred grow, multiply, and spread. Her words remain saccharine? Saccharina. And gentle, her lullaby enchanting, her milk nourishing. Ugh. 
Soon her child will be ready to be the catalyst of a scheme centuries in the making. One child would rise and he would produce many of those and those would become a one. With her ascension, she could free herself from the ancient ones. What? Every text I'm reading, I'm like, what? Excuse me? I don't know. Okay, for... King Crimson. He came down from the twilight with a bang. Vroom! Bathed by a storm, blanketed by thunder and dark clouds, a herald of doom, wolf prowling throughout the heavens. His tail's an intense red, just like the eye of the abyss. Oh, big boss. Hello. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. And he walks away. Hi. Can I hug you? Can I show you to the people? Come here. No. Ooh, it's a big bussy. With a naked baller. Ooh. Can you see his stitches? Yeah, you can. Oh, poor kitty. So sad to think that he's been on the operating table. Hey. It's the big boss. What are you doing on my table? Don't knock over my can of soda. Oh, you just want to sit there? <laughs> this is where you decided to sit. <laughs> you want to sit here, baby. That's fine. I kind of need the mouse, though. Hey. I have a blankie on the left. Can I, um... I put you there. Oh, he's so big. He's so big. Can you? Are you comfortable there? Yeah. Oh, such a cute little prince. Yeah. You really lost so much weight. Bebe. He's camera shy. Why is he sitting away like that? I want to show you off. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, he likes me. Lie down. <laughs> He's looking so weird. I think he'll lie down in a bit. Okay, can that way. Okay. Um. Oh no, don't go away. He's like, you're not petting me. Bye. <laughs> okay. Um. His roar is deafening, able to be heard throughout the entirety of the world. The burning crimson, the blood of creation itself, loomed from above us, bearing his fangs of death. His clothes made of star cloth, he dripped blood onto our heads, bathing us in his glory. He was preparing us for the spell he, we would later cast, for when we summoned him, we didn't have enough strength to restrain the sun of the moon on our own. I keep, I keep, I, I keep thinking of Anaxuna Moon. The burning crimson lent us his divine power after the a pact was made. For the two deities had bad blood between one another long before the birth of humanity. Burning crimson could not miss the opportunity to see his father and eternal enemy shackled and shamed by the likes of frail mortals, the same mortals the gods were reluctant to create in the first place. Burning crimson snarled and mocked with us and left before the marrow arrived. He said... His voice echoing with the solidity of stone. Now he will learn that what time itself was so unwilling to educate. Again, I have no idea what I was reading. Nothing useful here, random junk. Of the many deities that inhabit the universe unknown and the space between the stars, seven are amongst the most powerful and feared. Did I miss anything? No, I did not. Uh, they are known as the sons of the cosmic dust and they've been created as at the dawn of time before the advent of light. 
We feeble mortals aren't worthy of uttering their sacred names, so we devise na them names of our own, based on things we understand, as we're so keen to. They're the sons of the moon, the son of the moon, the lady of the golden womb, the silent, the raider of the stars, the burning crimson, the moon child, the light sword, and the time amongst us. Oh, these deities have woven the spectrum of the universes as we mere mortals know it. Okay. Oh, hey! Uh, wrong one. Boop. Boop. Ah, another bookie. Tomb of the Old God. Gotcha. Is this a thing? No. Excuse me? How am I gonna move this? There's obviously something behind it. It's not blood though. Maybe light? No. Yeah, light was the void one, wasn't it? Hmm. Also, wait. This boxy. Don't know what to do with it. Error! Hey! Thank you for the three months! Thank you. How you been? We have four tomes so far. I don't really have anything to put here. As far as I know. Don't even know what this means. And so many boxes that need these kind of things. It's so weird that the box itself has five, but then when you click on it, it has four. Hmm. Should we go have a look at the well? Wait. There's a lady here. She ain't playing nice. Let's go. Quick. I'm getting tired though. Maybe just check out the well and then we'll call it a day? Also, the mods are almost beaten. 2,299 health. We're getting close. It took a while. <laughs> um, blood. Holy fuck. Well, let's check it out. Venture underground. We still haven't gone into woods yet either. <gasps> We still have the woods to explore. Oh, Foxtail, oh my god, thank you. Thank you for gifting to Boomer, Venari, Margo, Bloomy, and Shira Rose. Thank you, White Rose, ooh. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. We are at 619, I just jumped up, 619 subs. Thank you so much. Don't forget, if you are even a gifted sub, you can still access the Discord for all the perks. The movie night last weekend was so nice. That was so fun. That was really, I really needed that. I was so happy. We should do those more often if you guys like. Because Sunday is going to be my, my day off anyway. So maybe... Well, I, I want to say once a month, but I think that would be too often. Maybe once every two months or so. I think. Um, I want to do like... Uh, like a marathon like we did before. So last Sunday, if you missed it, <clears throat> last Sunday we watched, um, we started with Alien, which a couple of people hadn't seen yet. That was awesome. Then we watched two episodes of X-Files because we're still working on that. We're in season five, halfway through season five. Um, and then we, I also wanted to watch The Thing and The Shining, but we only have time for one more because we were already going four hours um, by that time. So we watched, uh, we did a poll on the spot and we watched The Thing. Um, I still really want to watch The Shining soon. I'm actually hoping this Sunday, uh, but I'll have to see. But I think this Sunday I want to do, um, I do have a family thing. There's like a family day this Sunday. So I don't know how long that's going to be. I think there's dinner included, so I'll be home late. I'm hoping still in the evening, European evening, so it'll be late afternoon. For America, I want to do The Shining, I think, this Sunday. 
if you guys are okay with that. That would be cool. And then uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to think of another marathon thing to do. And I'll, I'll plan a date and then let you guys know like weeks in advance so everyone can uh, take their time. And then we can do that because that was fucking awesome. That was great. There were 40 people watching with us. Wait, that dude. He ran in into that wall really hard. Okay, statue. Looks like he needs a hammer. On the nature of the ancient. No one really knows the origin of the origins of the ancient ones. Where they could have come from, what they wanted, their intentions. It's safe to assume no one knows their real names, as we made up their names using our mortal language and baptized them according to how humans have recognized, always recognized things we do not understand. I doubt the sun of the moon, Anuk Anaksuna moon, has anything at all to do with our moon of the that the our moon or that the lady of the golden womb truly possesses a womb made of gold. We have this arrogant, presumptuous way of breaking down the universe into palatable, chewable pieces we can swallow, making it all about us. If these primeval gods have shown anything is to be understood at all, the sentences are really weird sometimes. It's that humanity is not the center of everything that is. What do we matter against the infinite number of universes out there? We are insignificant. No more than pawns to be played in a design bigger than we could ever hope to understand. Well, that's true. Okay. Are those just bones on the floor here? Yep. Let's check it out. Okay, it needs things? Hmm. The sun, uh, Anaksuna moon's name. There, there's been much deliberation again amongst those of us, hey quiet, welcome back, <laughs> who studied the ancient of what the eldest is truly called, her tail is right in front of the screen. The order has called him many names over time, often because of a disagreement. Okay, she's gone. She's like, there's no more food here. What the fuck? <laughs> Often because of a dis disagreement with a new grandmaster or a scholar that his name has changed. We believe the eldest has a name for every world that exists in the universe. We wondered what he called our world and why us uh, are of all the possible out of all the possible words that existed, were able to wield the power of the amulet. The simplest way would be to open a door and ask the gods for ourselves. One might question why we would obsess over something so seemingly trivial as a name. It was to our understanding that if we learned the name and were, were to speak it to the eldest himself, we would then know all there was to know about the eldest. Even after an immeasurable amount of research, it wasn't until we had reached out to the Tellurian himself were we able to uncover the eldest true moniker. I, I have no idea what I'm reading. Hey, Angel. He had agreed to give it to us as he seemed to have grown fond of our conversations. His agreement did not come without its condition. We must never enter the other realm. It was not within loud noises. It was not within our nature to stay idle for long, and perhaps we should have seen it coming all along. After all, it was the first name ever breathed breathed into existence. It was the eldest first eldest's first task to name himself and begin our universe. Speak thy name and you shall pass. We should have heeded the DeLorean's trepidation. Yeah. Wait. I should turn back in. Yum, 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 yum. So what the fuck mm. goes in here? Kind of reminds me of those baby toys where you need to match shapes. I see a wolf. The top one could be a wolf. So what do we do here? Oh. Okay. Um. That's about it, I guess. I mean, I have nothing I can put in there right now, so I'm just gonna go back. Leave this temple is what it said. Oh, good night, Exo. See you later. Oh, 
Um, I guess we can still venture into the woods. We haven't even looked there yet, so... And there's the three boxes. Um, let me see... This one's five. No, also four. Hmm. I wonder what we need to do with that. Hey, Cher! I'm gonna go save, and that's probably it for today. So it's a little bit of a shorter stream, sorry for that. But, whew, boy. Life is rough at the moment. I'm happy I could stream, though. It really took my mind off of things for a little bit, and I had a good time. So thank you, guys. And we'll definitely continue this tomorrow. Um, if nothing uh, scary happens IRL, I can do this tomorrow. I'll just um, keep you guys updated on a day-to-day -day basis, though. I'll just let you know each day, like, if I stream that night or not. Um, so keep a close eye on Twitter. Like, even if you don't have Twitter, if you go to my my Twitch page here and look down, there's, like, a Twitter extension. You can see everything there. So even if you don't have Twitter, you can see the tweets and whether I announced whether I'll be streaming or not. Whether I announced whether or not I'll be streaming. <laughs> um, I did have something lined up for tomorrow, I think another indie horror, but we'll do this one tomorrow again. Um, we might be able to finish it tomorrow, I really have no idea about the length, but if it's about five hours, then yeah, then we should be able to finish it tomorrow with like another two and a half hours or something. And we're at five of the eight, eight marks, so... I think we can probably finish tomorrow. And then um, I think Transference came out, didn't it? I think I uh, it's in my past events now because I missed the stream, but I would really want to do that one next. And then we can maybe do that other indie horror after that. Um, so this week will mostly be indie horror. It's already the 19th, what was it? Yeah, 19th. Didn't fucking uh, Life is Strange come out real soon? Keep forgetting 21 something was it the 21st maybe oh sleep is pretty sleep is pretty good at the moment i'm getting like six seven hours no more stress uh for sleep at least 27th oh, okay so all the way at the end of the month okay so uh in that case i don't really know what i'm gonna do the rest of the month. I might try and do... Oh shit! Liam! Holy shit, thank you! <laughs> Creepy and awesome, lots of love. Aw, thank you! Thank you so much, Liam. Um, how was I saying? I might do Before the Storm. How many episodes is that? Is that a shorter game? Do you guys know how long it is? It might be a nice, chill game, like Life is Strange was. To just listen to the people and play around a little bit. It's a relaxing game for me, at least, compared to this. It's three episodes. And is each episode, like, three hours again? Like, uh... Um, like the original game was? Three episodes and an extra one. So, four things total. A bonus episode. Ah. Okay. Are they like three hours each? Two and a half hours each? Like the... Like the original game was? Bonus is short. Oh, okay. I, I would kind of like to play through it if I can manage time-wise, scheduling-wise. I mean, I could look it up after the stream though, don't worry. Um, but I might consider doing that. They're a bit shorter each. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, I might do that. I might wanna... I think the next... Let's see. One, two, three. At, at least three streams are gonna be indie horror. Maybe four, um, depending on long, how long that game transference. I think it's transference. The title I forgot. It has like all the bright colors and it's like FMV slightly. Or mostly. But it looked really cool and I think it's out now. There's like no... I haven't heard anything about it, but I think it's out. If it didn't get delayed. At least... 
anyway, <laughs> this week, if I stream, I'm planning to do like all kinds of indie horror. So be sure to stick around if you just discovered me today. There's going to be a bunch more like this that we've done today. And um, I'll run some credits. And that was it then. Um, there we go. Roll. They should roll. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, Liam and Nasters, for the donation. Nasters, that's so awesome. Thank you so much for uh, giving me some money for the game, I guess. Juan, Fane, Jack, Gom, Spike, and Kat, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you. Thank you, everyone who followed me today. Thank you so much, Grinks, for the raid and Daryl for the raid. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm actually planning on uh, streaming Overwatch with uh, Daryl uh, sometime, so be sure to check his channel too, but I'll post it in Discord. Thank you, Zami, Lullabies, Jaded, Juan, Brainbusta, Asna, Kilvik, Fox, Error, Bad, Fudari, Margo, Bloomy, and Sheeta. Thank you so much for the subs and resubs, and thank you for gifting that. Thank you, thank you, Foxdale. Thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I had a great night. Thank you so much for cheering me up a little bit. Um, so yeah, I plan on being here again tomorrow, probably late again. Um, I want to do some early ones later this week, I think, but it really is, everything is just unsure at the moment. Um, uh, really just please keep an eye on my Twitter. I po I post the Twitter information also in Discord if, uh, if you're on Discord, but mostly just keep an eye on Twitter on what I'm doing and, um, and then we'll see. We'll just take it day by day for this week at least. Uh, for the next couple weeks, probably. We'll take it day by day, and then maybe someday I'll just be like, sorry, not today. But uh, hopefully we can make it work. I'm really glad we got to make it work today. And um, if I cancel a stream or something, I might do like a movie instead. So if you're subbed, then you can still watch a movie with me. So that might be cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Thank y'all. Good night.